Welcome to this video on the induction heater. Today we're going to fit a bearing to either end of that worm shaft you see in the vise. And that will be the induction heater that we're going to use just there on the right hand side. For large bearings, they're just placed over the center post of the induction heater onto the bed and the bridge piece is brought down to rest on the top center post. The temperature sensor probe is just placed onto the inner race of the bearing, not the outer race, and the heater is switched on and the temperature starts to rise from there. For smaller bearings, ones that can't fit over the center post as you see there. We have a steel encased soft iron core, laminated soft iron core, and that just bridges across the two poles and the bearing sits on that. Once again, the temperature probe is placed on the inner race. Normally we heat the bearings up to a maximum temperature of 120 degrees. And you can see here just from the display, you hit the start button and the green light comes on and temperature starts to rise up. 87, 88, 89, 90 degrees and so on. And it will keep rising until it reaches 115. It will then stop automatically. And you've got to be ready to pick off the hot bearing and place it onto the shaft. You need the shaft positioned in close vicinity to the induction heater. You don't want to be walking a distance across the workshop as it may cool down. So you need all of the gear ready. Prepare the shaft. Just use a smooth file to take off any burrs on the leading edge of the bearing journal. Also, on the shoulder where the bearing is going to sit up against, make sure there are no burrs on that. Same on both sides. Keep everything thoroughly clean. Wipe down the iron filings that have come off the, uh, the file or filing the burrs on the edges of the shaft. You don't want iron filings getting into the races of the bearing. Just checking the diameter of the, the shaft. This particular shaft is 55 millimeters in diameter. And by taking that dimension, we can quite easily work out what the expansion will be for the temperature that the induction heater heats the uh, bearings up to. Put a, uh, put a drop of oil onto the bearing journals just to ease with fitting. Temperature in the workshop is about 25 degrees and we're going to heat the bearings up to 115 degrees and so we subtract the daytime temperature from 115 degrees that will leave us with a 90 degree change in temperature that we're going to put into the shaft. When you're fitting bearings to shaft you should never bring the bearings out of the package in which they come in because as you can see there there's a lot of iron filings and just 
workshop dust and dirt around the benches and of course if it gets into the inner races then the bearing is useless before it even gets into operation. So cleanliness is of the utmost importance. Also have your gloves ready to pick the bearing off the induction heater. Be ready to mount it onto the shaft. It's too hot to hold by hands. If we have a look at the induction heater, it's 114, 115 degrees. It goes into a demagnetizing cycle, which lasts for about three, four seconds. And the stop, it says there, hit the stop button and just remove the bearing from the induction heater. As you will see here, take off the temperature probe, just stopping the induction heating heater. Take off the, the temperature probe sensor, take off the iron core and take the bearing over to the shaft. Slide the bearing on and what we're doing here is holding the bearing tight up against the shoulder that it has to seat up against and hold it there for about 15-20 seconds or so so that it shrinks down and starts to get a firm grip onto the shaft. With large bearings, if you don't hold them there long enough you can get a bit of creep back from the shoulder and you would end up with a, a gap there, a small gap indeed, but a gap nonetheless. Now we have to do the second bearing. Just put it onto that, that soft iron core bridge piece, cross the two poles, put the sensor, temperature sensor, on the inner race. Just switch on at the mains. Switch the start on on the induction heater. And the cycle will start to commence and heat up the bearing. Switch off when it reaches 115 degrees and goes through the magnet demagnetizing cycle. <clears throat> Remove that soft iron cord. Have your gloves on. Take the bearing across to the shaft. Slide it onto the bearing journal, hard up against the shoulder. And with the uh, amount of heat that we've put into that bearing and working out the calculation you probably find that we have a clearance between the 55 diameter shaft and the inside bore of the bearing of about 0.1 of a millimeter one tenth of a millimeter once we've got that done remove it from the vise and until it's ready to be installed into the gearbox Make sure that it stays clean. Good idea is to wrap the shaft and the bearings up in a rag just to keep workshop dirt, dirt and grime out from between the races of the ball bearing. Thank you for watching this video.